good morning everybody and welcome to Silver Sneakers Classic. I am Curtis Jones, the Silver Sneakers instructor for the Glenwood YMCA and the YMCA of Greater Erie. Happy Labor Day everybody. I know it's a little gloomy out here in Erie, PA, but I hope you guys are still going to be able to get everything, I hope I want to be able to provide everything that you guys need for today as far as your physical exercise. So a couple of things before we get started. I uh, always want to make sure, well number one, I'm in all white because apparently you can't wear white after Labor Day, so I figure I get it in now. So uh, what we're going to do is gonna our regular run-of-the-mill uh, exercises, things we've done before, maybe a couple of new things. And what I'm gonna have you do is make sure you just have your chair, your equipment, your uh, bottle of water to keep yourself hydrated. And always remember that if you don't have the equipment, you can always get creative. But even if you don't have uh, anything in your home that'll uh, suffice as far as uh, substitutions. As long as you're doing the exercises in good form uh, with proper breathing, you'll still feel the exercises and the intended muscles and everything that we target today. So a couple of things before we get started. Um, today for me, I believe will probably be my last virtual class because at the Glenwood Y we will now be moving into indoor silver sneakers classes. So. Uh, if you are looking forward to coming into the building and being able to partake in those classes, we will be having those classes. Uh, everything is online, ymcaerie.org. It's on our Facebook page. And also, if you don't have any of those things, you're more than welcome to come into the building and look at those things. If you are looking to come into the building, remember, if you have not come to the building yet, there is going to be a waiver that you must sign before you go into use the facility or take the classes. Those classes will require a sign-up because we can only allow for so many people to allow for social distancing. So make sure that you are up to date on that. Plan ahead to make sure that you can do all of those things. Um, for this class in particular, make sure you're putting your first and last name in the comments of this video. Now, I know not everybody is 100% comfortable with coming into a space uh, just yet. So what I'm going to do, just take a few couple of seconds to show you what you can do if you have the uh, t capabilities to do so at home. Uh, we do also have our videos on YouTube. So I'm just gonna go through a quick rundown of how to go about doing that. Hopefully you guys will be able to see here. So what you're going to do you're going to go to youtube.com. I go to it pr pretty often. Hopefully everything loads for you. And what you're going to do is you're going to put in YMCA of Greater Erie. You can kind of see right away already, but you're going to click YMCA of Greater Erie, click on over to videos, and you will see a list of all of our uh, promotional videos, all of our classes that we have to offer right there on our Facebook page, uh, on our uh, YouTube page, excuse me. So if you're not still 100% comfortable with coming into the building or coming into a, a public space, there is an opportunity for you to still partake in the classes uh, online. Because even though I may not be doing the classes uh, virtually anymore, there are still uh, virtual classes happening on Facebook Live as well as uh, online on YouTube. So if that's something that you would like to partake in, that is an opportunity that is available to you. So. With all of that said, we're going to go ahead and get started, but first, let's make sure we get our bodies nice and set for what we're going to accomplish today. So let's start in that strong posture. Our shoulders back, our chest is up. Engaging that core to maintain a nice, uh, strong posture, a soft bend in the knees. Let's go ahead and shake everything out. Shoulders back, roll them back a little bit. Alright, now if you can, try not to knock over your water like I just did, go ahead and go up against the wall. We're gonna, another thing that's going to help with posture, 
as well. I'm going to have you go up against the wall. We're just going to hold this pose here for a couple of seconds. Your shoulders are going to be back. Four points of contact, the back of your heels, your glutes, or your butt, your shoulder blades, and the back of your head. Maintaining that nice neutral spine, keeping the integrity of that spine nice and straight. And we're just going to hold this posture here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Shake everything out, making sure that you're hydrating with water, keeping yourself nice and cool and hydrated. Your body's made up of two thirds of water, so when you lose all, when you lose some of that water, when you sweat, you gotta make sure you replenish it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Here. Nice and easy. Shoulders back. All right. Let's start off nice and easy. Mark in place right here. Here we go. Keep it going. Step it out. 
keep it moving. All right, now, high knees in four, three, two, high knees. Now from here, leg curls. We bring our heels to our glutes, elbows tucked behind us. Here we go, four, three, two, leg curls. Moving. Back to marches. Keep it going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake everything out. Great job, everybody. Take this time to grab a drink of water if you need to. Clear your chair, go ahead and take a seat. We're gonna go ahead and stretch. No need for weights or bands just yet. Go ahead and clear your chair. Sitting up nice and tall. Shoulder back. Let's do it with the song instead of go ahead and put your hands up. Make your spine nice and long. Wiggle the wrists and fingers. And remember that when you are sitting if up in your chair, you want to make sure that you are that you're sitting up nice and tall, getting your back off of the seat. Still maintaining that nice strong posture. Left arm across the hip. Across the hip, across the chest. I guess that you could do that, but we're going to go ahead and go across the chest. We're going to wrist and fingers. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Open up the chest and switch. Continue this motion here. I'm going to double check on some things here. Four, three, two, great job. Let's roll those shoulders back. All right, let's go ahead and bring our left heel to the ground, toes in the air. Nice and tall, keep that chest up. Protect the integrity of that spine. You don't have to come forward very far. All we're gonna do with this slight hinge, you should feel that stretch right away in your back of your leg, in your hamstrings. Four, three, two, and switch. That leg straight, nice and tall. Protect the integrity of that spine. We're gonna come forward. Again, you don't have to go very far to feel that stretch. Let's try it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come on up. Shoulders back. Go ahead, shake everything out. Give yourself a nice big old hug. Ugh. Open up the chest. Grab your drink and let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off nice and easy. We're going to work our shoulders and the muscles around our rotator cuff with our I's, Y's, T's, and W's. So sitting up nice and tall in your chair. I'm going to have you hinge forward again, protecting the integrity of that spine. Your hands are going to come to the outside of your legs. The palms facing in. Bring those hands up as far as you can. Here we go. Two and two. Bring it up. Up. Two. Down. Make sure you breathe. Keep it going. Two and two again. Up. Two. Down. Down. 
again. And remember, the hard part of any exercise is that's the part when you want to exhale. So, even though it still might be relatively easy, two, two, keep it going. The harder part of this motion is bringing the arms up. So that's when you want to exhale. Again. And rest. Come on up. Now we're going to move on to our Ys. Bring your hands down to your side palm to the front legs of your chair. Here we go. Four, three, two. Make those Ys. Up. to our T's. Same hinge position, palms together. Open up those hands, squeeze those muscles in the back of your shoulders. Here we go. Two, in, two. Feel that squeeze. Exhale on that lift up. Again. Two, two again. Out. Two, in, two. Out. Two, in, repeat, out, two, go again, four more, one, two, in, three more, out, two, do that squeeze, two more, out, two, in, last one, and rest sitting up nice and tall, hands together like you're reading your favorite book. Rotate those palms facing out, squeeze those muscles in the back, then come on in. Four, three, two, W's. One, two, in, two, out, two, in, two, out, two, in, again, out, two, go again, out, two, feel that squeeze, Come on in. Exhale. Turn those palms out. In. Four more. Out. Two. In. Two. Out. Two. In. Almost there. Out. Two. In. Repeat. Out. Two. And rest. Great job. Shake everything out. Now well, let's go ahead and work those outer hip muscles or hip abductors. So, two ways you can go about accomplishing this. You can either take your bands, wrap them around your leg, keeping your feet together. You can take those same bands, place them underneath your feet. Actually, if you have your bands, let's do this way. That way everyone can kind of go through the same motion. If you have your bands, place them underneath both of your feet, cross your legs, cross your uh, bands, and place the handle in your lap. Now, if you don't have bands, but you have some type of weights or some type of resistance, set those weights in your lap, sitting up nice and tall. All of us are going to step out to the side and bring it in. Very important. Nice and tall. And we're going to just step it right out to the side. Notice how I'm not rotating or turning myself out. It's all about just stepping it out and bringing it in. Let's go to the left first. Two, two. Out. Two. In. Two. Out. Two. Again. Out. Two. Repeat. To the right. One, two, two, 
One, two, again. One, two, one. Back to the left. Two, two. One, two, two. One, two, two. Again, engaging that core still, keeping that nice tall posture. Right. In, two. Out, two. In, again. Out, two. In, repeat. Out, two. In, to the left. One, two. Keep it going. Out, two. To the right. One, two. In, again. Out, two. Repeat. Two. Again. And rest. Kick out those legs. All right. We're going to go ahead and move on to some more upper body. What I'm going to have you do, uh, again, two different options for what, depending on what you have. If you have weights, what you're going to do is you're going to sit up nice and tall, weights in hand. You're going to hang forward, again, not very far. Weights out to the front. And we're going to slide our elbows across our hips for that row. If you have your bands, what you're going to do is place those bands underneath your feet, place both feet flat on the ground, cross the bands in front, and row this way. So you want to make sure that your grip, whichever exercise, whichever form you're doing, slide those elbows across your hips, squeeze those muscles in the back, and then release. Here we go. Shoulders back a little bit. I missed the beat there. It's all right. On my cue, two and two, come back, hold that squeeze, and then come forward. Four, three, two, bring it back. One, two, forward. Again, really feel that squeeze, and remember what I said. Always exhale at the hardest part of the exercise. Keep it going. Two and two. One, two. Again, one, two, repeat, one, two, again, one, two, keep it going, one, two, repeat, one, two, go again, one, two, again, two, two, one, two, Repeat. One, two. Go again. One, two. And rest. Now, we're going to go into an isometric hold. What that means is we're going to sit up nice and tall, and we're going to hold that squeeze of the row. Nice and tall, or hinge forward, whatever you're doing. Back and hold. Feel that squeeze. You're really feeling that squeeze in your back. Keep it going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Great job, everybody. Attach those bands to the back of your chair. Now would be a good time to uh, grab a drink. If you need to, put your first and last name in the comments of the video so we can give you credit in our system for doing the class. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our lower body now. We're gonna do a little back and forth. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and step to the left side of our chair. So on the left side of your chair, I'm going to go to this side, to the front, so you can see the form. So what you're going to do, again, left side of your chair, 
right foot forward, left leg back. Keep your chest up, shoulders back. We're gonna go into lunges. Keep that body nice and straight as we come down. That back heel is off the ground. Then we push that front heel into the ground. Now, if this is gonna be too much pressure on your knees, sit all the way back in your chair, nice and tall. Follow the same count that we do. You're just gonna bring your leg up above the knee and down. Work in those quad muscles. That's our target area. Here we go. Set it up. Whatever set, whatever exercise you're doing. Two, two, one. Making sure that knee, that, that back knee, does not touch the ground, and your front knee is in line with your ankles. Go again. Down. Two. Keep that chest up. Shoulders back. And you look straight ahead for me. I don't want you looking down. I want you looking straight ahead to a brighter future. Up nice and high. And look straight ahead. Go again. And rest here. Shake out the leg. Now we're going to do the same thing we did with the row. We're going to come down and we're going to hold. Constant contraction of that muscle. Hold. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it again. Hold it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, and come on up. She got that leg. I know you're feeling it. I'm feeling it too. Now, to the opposite side of your chair. On the right side of your chair, your left foot is forward. Right leg is back now. Or again, if you're in your chair. Sitting up nice and tall. Toes pointed up. Here we go. Four, three, two, here we go. One, two, again, one, two, one. Again, hold on to that chair or to the wall if you need to break yourself the balance. Go again, one, two. Again, straight ahead. Show back, chest up, nice tall posture. Again, down, two. Again, making sure that front heel pushes into the ground. And rest. Shoulders back, shake out the legs. You know what's coming. We're gonna hold that pose, whether you're in your chair or you're doing the lunge. Here we go. Hold. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. If you have to release and stand it up, that's okay. Continue on as best you can. Four, three, two, one, and yes. Shake out those legs. All right. Now, behind your chair, if you need to for balance, squats are next. We did the front of the legs. Now let's go ahead and target the back and those glutes. Nice and tall. Very important when we bring, when we come down, that our knees don't go over our toes. Really make sure you bring those hips back. If it's going to help, go ahead and stand in front of your chair. Bring the hips back like you're sitting down. Have your butt touch the chair and then come right up. So imagine that seat is on fire. You don't want to stay there too long. Bring it down just enough to touch and then come right back up. We're still going to follow our count two and two. 
I don't want you sitting in the chair when you come down. You want to constantly keep those legs engaged. Down, then up. I'll turn to my side so you have the form. Four, three, two, two, two. Down, two. Again, down, two. Go again, down. the chest up, push those heels into the ground, go again, one, two, one, two, go again, one, two, two, two again, one, two, again, one, two, Repeat, one, two, last one, great job, hold on to the chair, up against the wall, that isometric squat hold, we're going to come down, hold that squat, get down as low as you can, bring those hips back, keep your good form, bring it down, seven, six, Go as long as you can. We're going to go another slow eight count. If you would like to, you can add a little squat pulse here. If you'd like, you can add a small little pulse. Make sure you breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and come on up. Great job, everybody. Shake out those legs. Grab a drink. Just checking a couple of things here. Great job, everybody. Let's head back to our chair now. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the chest. Now, if you have band, if you do not have bands. I would say weights can be anywhere from one to three pounds. If you don't have, uh, maybe four pounds, maybe. We're gonna go out here this way. Reason I don't want heavier weights going that motion, because I want you to make sure that you're focusing on the chest, and when the weights get too heavy and gravity takes over, it has a tendency to kind of pull on our tendons. So we want to make sure that we're using a light weight, feeling that squeeze, and then coming back if we do not have bands. So you're still going to feel the workout just as much without injuring yourself if you sit up nice and tall in that arrow formation, come out and squeeze, and then come back. Here we go. Two, two. One, two. Uh, again, come out, do that squeeze, exhale, out, again, keep it going, one, two, out, two, again, mind to muscle connection, feel that squeeze when you come out, go again, out, Again, one, two, go again, one, two, and rest, shoulders back, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring it out, feel that squeeze in the chest, and we're going to hold it there, here we go, out and squeeze, eight, seven, Nice and tall, engage that core, make sure you breathe. Mind to muscle connection, feeling that squeeze in your chest. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Great job.
Now, we're going to go ahead and move on to the shoulders now. If you have bands, you're more than welcome to stick with the bands, keep that 90 degree angle, and push up above your head. You can also do this with the weights if you would like. Just make sure that if you're going above the head, that we're going to come up and out just a little bit. So you want to make sure you're coming out forward so you can kind of see the, your hands in your periphery. You don't want them pulling back if you're using the bands. Now, if going above the head is going to prove difficult on your shoulders, a side lateral raise. If you have weights in your hand, elbow super side, bring them up this way. If you're going to be using your bands for this, make sure the bands are on the outside of your arms and we bring those elbows out. Here we go. Two and two. Nice and tall, engage that core. Bring them up. One, two, down, again. Make sure that when you come down, you maintain that 90 degree angle. The lowest the weight in the handle should go should be your ears. Keeping that time under tension, working those shoulder muscles. Go again. Go again. Up, two, repeat. Again. Two and two, four more. Up, two, down. Again, up, two, down. Repeat, up, two. Last one. And rest. Shake everything out. No weights, no bands for this one. Next exercise is what I like to call the flappy bird. So what the flappy bird, if you're new, is going to be us sitting up nice and tall. Arms are going to come out to our side, a slight, the slightest bend in our elbow, and it's going to be a very small range of motion of us pulsing those arms. Palms facing down, here we go. Flappy bird, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep it going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep it going. Almost there. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Putting those shoulders to work. We call that a burnout. That's what we call that. Take this time, grab a drink, shake everything out. We're doing pretty good on time. So we're gonna end it with uh, with some uh, with some arms. We're gonna end it with our biceps and triceps. So what I'm gonna have you do is with your weights, if you have them, or if you don't have if you don't have weights and all you have are bands. You're gonna detach them from your chair. And you're gonna stand on the band with one or two feet. If you have bands and don't, if you have bands but no weights, your probably your best bet is gonna be to stand. That way you can get a full range of motion standing up. If you have weights or something that can be um, used as weights, I'm gonna have you sit so you can get the benefit of the exercise without you having your legs into it. Elbows down to your side, shoulders back, chest up. Two, two. Up. Two. Down. Exhale on that lift up. Feel that squeeze at the top of the motion. Go again. Keep moving. Keep moving. Up. Two. Down. Again. Up. Two. Down. Repeat. Up. Two. Down. Again. Up. Two. Four more. Two and two. Up. Two. 
down again. Up, two, down. Repeat. Up, two, down. Again. Up, two, rest. Now, just like we've been doing throughout the whole class, we're going to bring those, sit up nice and tall, bring those weights up, elbows to our side. Feel that squeeze in our bicep and holding that pose that, at the top. Up and hold. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Keep it going as far as you can. Last eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And rest. Shake out those arms. Now we're going to move on to our last exercise, which is our triceps. So what I'm going to have you do, whether with your bands or with your weights, we're going to go ahead. If you have your weights, you're going to go ahead and sit up nice and tall in your chair. Hinge forward. Bring the weights to your hips like you're dumping a pitcher of water behind you. And kick them back. If you have bands, you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to have your bands under your feet. Hinge forward, same thing, and just kick back. Same thing. So whatever one you have, that's what we're going for. Here we go. Last exercise, give me everything you got. Here we go. Two, two. Make sure you breathe on that kick back. Keep it going. One, two. You want to make sure that your elbows stay in place. Feeling that tension and that work being done in the tricep. Back of your arms, back. Again. Two. Go again, four more. Back, two, forward, again. Back, two, forward, again. Here we go. Back, two, again. And rest. Great job. Now, you know what's coming. Our last exercise. Is that tricep kick back hold? Here we go. Kick back and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring it in and rest. Stand up nice and tall. Or sit up nice and tall. We're going to go one last time. Here we go. Hinge forward, weights to your hips, handles to your hips, kick back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Great job, everybody. Grab your drink, shake everything out, shoulders back, and go ahead and take a seat in your chair. Great job, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to our relaxation, our meditation music. Wonderful job today, everybody. Again, always be proud of the fact that you decided to make yourself a priority in taking your physical health into consideration and making sure that you're doing what's best for you in the best way that you can.
let's go ahead and just reach up nice and tall, making our spine nice and long. Wiggle the wrists and fingers. Again, happy Labor Day, everybody. Hope everyone is being safe. Everyone is doing what they can to make sure that you're loving one another, being the best version of yourself, not just for you, but for those that you come into contact with. And bring it down. I want you to take your left hand, bring that palm to the floor. Sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna go ahead and just bring our right ear to the right shoulder. And just breathe. switch that gaze to look over your right shoulder toward the floor just continue to hold that stretch and come on up now let's go ahead and do the same thing on the opposite side. Right palm pressed toward the floor. Left ear to left shoulder. that gaze to look over the opposite shoulder. And come on up. I want you to now go ahead and hold on to the bottom of your chair. Tuck your chin into your chest round your back, and this is going to be your cat pose. Hands can either be at your legs of your chair or just right there on your lap. Breathe in through the nose. As you exhale, Sink that spine into the ground. Open up the chest. Come into your cow pose. Four, three, two, one. Sitting up nice and tall. We're going to do some more torso stretching. This is going to be what I call beauty queens. What we're going to do is take that right hand to the outside of your left leg, nice and tall, rotate your torso. I always say like you're, uh, like you're getting your face or your profile painted on currency. You want that chest and the chin up nice and tall and just feel that spinal rotation. seat of your car, I want you to turn your head ever so gently over the left side of your shoulder, your left shoulder, four, three, two, one, nice and easy, nice and gently, back to center.
Anything involving the neck and the spine, you don't want any sharp or sudden movement, so take your time. Nice and tall, left to the outside of the right. Rotate, beauty queens going toward the right. Nice and tall again. You're being painted on currency, so make sure your chin is up, chest is up, shoulders are down. So gently, like you're looking in the back seat of your car, turn to look over your right shoulder. Nice and easy, back to center. Now what we're going to do is sitting up nice and tall, we're going to end our class with our three good deep breaths. Remember when we bring that breath in, we bring it down into our stomach using those diaphragm muscles and the muscles around the stomach. Breathe in from the floor to the ceiling. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One last time. Inhale up. And exhale down. And that's going to do it. Guys, thank you so very much. This virtual experience for me has been wonderful. And as I transition and go into doing my indoor classes, remember uh, what I showed you at the beginning. You're more than welcome to go onto YouTube if you're not comfortable coming into the building. But we are offering both indoor classes. Uh, be uh, on our Facebook page. Check our website, ymcaerie.org, for those schedules and registrations and things of that nature. We are here to, and committed to serving you in every way possible. So uh, whatever we can do to help as far as like giving you those exercises, whether they be virtually on our YouTube page or you coming into the facility, just know that we are here to serve the community and we are here to make uh, you a better you in all aspects that we can. So thank you guys so very much. This is going to be, uh, for now, the last Silver Seekers class for me. I'm sure there'll be other uh, Silver Sneakers classes and other variations of the Silver Sneakers class happening uh, online on Facebook, so continue to keep an eye out for those. We have plenty of wonderful and amazing qualified instructors who will, will take you through that journey of bringing you to your best self physically and maybe even mentally and spiritually along the way. So thank you guys again so very much. Have a wonderful Labor Day. Stay safe and don't forget to love each other. Go and love everybody.